In this video, we'll be talking about derivatives of trig functions. Now, we've already learned that the derivative with respect to x of sine x is cosine x, and the derivative with respect to x of cosine x is a negative sine x. And let me show you real quick how we can get these derivative rules. The first one, the derivative with respect to x of tangent x is secant squared x. Now we can write tangent x as sine over cosine. So I'm wanting to find then the derivative of sine over cosine. Now in order to find this derivative, I would need to use my quotient rule. So that is the square of what's below is in the bottom. Cosine squared x will be in the denominator. And then I start with my denominator. And I have cosine x times the derivative of the numerator, which is cosine x, minus the numerator, which is sine x, times the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of cosine x is a negative sine x. Now if we simplify this, we have cosine squared x. And then a, here we have a negative sine x times a negative sine x. So that will be plus sine squared x over cosine squared x. Now we all know the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So this is 1 over cosine squared x. And that's the reciprocal function secant squared x. So that gives us the derivative then of tangent is equal to secant squared x. We can also develop the derivative for cotangent in a similar way. We would rewrite cotangent x as cosine over sine, and it would work out to be a negative cosecant squared. Now for uh, the derivative of secant x, again we can write secant x as 1 over cosine. So we're finding the derivative of 1 over cosine x. So we need to use our quotient rule. We can put a cosine squared x in the denominator and um, start with the bottom. Cosine x times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0 subtract the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which will be the derivative of cosine x is a negative sine x. Simplifying this, uh, this term will be 0. And then a negative 1 times a negative sine x, that's going to be a positive sine x over cosine squared x. Now let's separate this cosine squared into cosine x times cosine x so that we have 1 over cosine x multiplied by sine x over cosine x. We know that this is tangent and we know that this is secant. So secant x times tangent x is the derivative of secant x. And this one would be similar. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And let's do some problems. We're asked to find the derivative of each of the following. Our first one is f of x equals x minus tangent x. 
So we can find the derivative of each term separately. f prime then will be equal to the derivative of x is 1, and then minus the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Now we know that our Pythagorean identity is tangent squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. So if I manipulate this, I'll leave my 1 on the left side and subtract secant squared from both sides and then move my tangent squared to the right side by subtracting tangent squared. I can see that this 1 minus secant squared is the same as a negative tangent squared. Do another one. On this one, we not only have a trig function, but we have a product. We're multiplying x times the secant of x. So we need to use the product rule. And let me remind you that the derivative with respect to x of f times g is f times the derivative of g plus g times the derivative of f. So for our function, the derivative of y will be x times the derivative of secant x plus secant x times the derivative of x. And the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So y prime is equal to x times secant x tangent x plus secant x times 1. And the only simplifying we can do would be to multiply 1 times the secant of x. So our derivative is x secant x tangent x plus secant x.